Another sunny day at Cape Town's V&A waterfront. But behind the scenes, more was going on than just families milling about. A troop of dancers suddenly emerged from the crowds in what is popularly known as a flash mob. It's taken months of meticulous planning to raise awareness for Professor Carabas' plight. It was all organized by a dancer and ex-patient of Dr. Carabas. I had non-Hodgkin's lymphoma when I was four, so I have quite clear memories of him, of his gentle spirit, his quiet nature, how he, my mom tells me stories, how he encouraged the parents, how he got them through. So he's an amazing man who would never hurt a fly and he just needs to come home. You know, it's, it's been one thing, the ordeal that my father's been going through that side, but it's also the family on this side. It's been, it's been really tough, but having friends and strangers, complete strangers, to step up, stand, you know, and, and do something and try and make a difference for my dad and for us and for our family, it's, it's just amazing. And yeah, in the spirit of Freedom Day, it's, it's amazing, fantastic. It yeah. needs to be on Cape Town soil. Bring him home. Bring him home. Bring him home. <laughs> the family say they hope to know by the end of this weekend whether Professor Carabas will be allowed to have his passport renewed and travel ban lifted so he can return home. Roderick McLeod, Cape Town. News that moves. ENCA.com.